How would you like to shrink to the size of a toy? Uh, I would like to do that right now. (laughs) (laughs) And explore Andy's backyard in Toy Story Land. Our lifestyle expert, Lena Almeida, was recently at Walt Disney World for the opening of the much-anticipated Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And she is here with the whole scoop. I've got all the scoop on Toy Story Land. It was incredible. I imagine. Oh, Oh, my kids were in heaven. I was in heaven, and that's what I love about it. It kind of hits multiple generations. So, you know, I have memories of watching Toy Story growing up. And of course, my kids are huge fans of all three of Mm -hmm. of the movies in the franchise. So it was just incredible. So the big news is Toy Story Land is now open at Walt Disney World Resort. And it is inspired by Pixar Animation Studios Toy Story films. And the guests are turned into honorary toys, and you just get to play big in the park, which has been imagined to feel like Andy's backyard. So when you walk in there, you really do feel that you're the size of a toy, and you're just... Everything's like Everything is huge. (laughs) Yes. Wow. Wow. Uh, So... um when they're in in the in the store and going yes. through all the things and everything is just massive. I mean, there's Tinker Toys, what yo yos, yeah, building blocks. There's a life sized Jenga, which is oh my, my personal favorite. Oh. It's amazing. No, the Jenga Tower is is a sight to see. But I know you really want to hear about the ride. Yes, well, we do. <laughs> I, I do. Chris, yes. Christine is a nervous rider. Well, I, well, I, oh. No, you have to understand that I have a fear of heights. So okay. if I'm on a six foot ladder. I'm not in my element. I'm already <laughs> nervous, but, um, you know, I love the idea of them. Of course. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you about Slinky Dog Dash. Maybe, Kate, this would be the ride for you. Okay. Um, Christine, you'd be taking photos of all your <laughs> Or maybe I'd be in the back seat. Uh, actually. Not looking. You know what? If you are afraid of heights or afraid of drops, sitting in the front is actually is it it's a little bit better on the tummy. That's a tip. Oh. Yeah, you want to be at the very front. But anyway, Slinky Dog Dash lets the riders zip around the entire park. So you're getting a bird's eye view of everything, of, of everything in Toy Story Land. And I think it's amazing. It actually, in a first for a Disney coaster, it also features a second launch at its midpoint. Now, I always come on here and say I don't want to give too much away, knowing, of course, you could just YouTube, you know, yeah. the ride right now. But it's it's pretty incredible. It's fast. There are small drops. It's incredibly smooth. And the views are unbeatable. And it's it's great for the entire family. Really? Yeah. Height requirement is? 38 inches. Okay. So well, even the little ones. Yeah, yeah the little are getting on too. So would you recommend that maybe that would be the first thing that you would do so that you can sort of have a look at what what yeah. all there is. 100%. On the yeah. Take on Slinky Dog Dash first because you'll get a lay of the land. Yeah. And then we're, decide where you want to go yeah. to next, which may be Alien Swirling Saucers. And do you remember the aliens from Toy Story? Yes. The, the little green yes. guys? Ooh. I'm definitely doing the saucers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will definitely love the saucers. And when they say brace yourself for out of this world thrills, they actually do mean brace yourself because you may be jostled around a bit. It's all in great fun. Fun. And the saucers swirl about, and of course, the claw hangs overhead. The claw. <laughs> and the ride height is 32 inches. So this is literally good for all kids, yeah, big and really. small. And then finally, Toy Story Mania. Now, this is one of Disney's Hollywood Studios' most popular attractions. And it has a colorful new entrance. It's got a third track, which means even more guests are getting on the ride. And it's just, it's a family fave that I always say is a must do. Now, there are two merchandise locations. Of course, I'm always about the shopping. I know. (laughs) And I'm here with the hot ticket items. You want to grab the Buzz Lightyear bubble blower, the alien swirling saucers (laughs) replica. So there's mini toys. And, of course, the slinky dog headbands. Those are – that's my pick for a hot ticket. Slinky dog headband? Yeah. They're so cute. (laughs) I'm going to send Alex a picture for for you to upload because they're just adorable. And of course, now that I've made you excited for Toy Story Land, I'm going to tell you about two amazing promos for my friends at Air Canada Vacations to get you there. So first, with Air Canada Vacations, kids fly free. So when you book from now until July 15th, book a flight, an Orlando hotel, and a Walt Disney World theme park package 
and your kids are going to fly free. You do have to pay the taxes. And oh, of course. Of course you do. But you can travel by February 28th, oh, 2019. Okay, yeah. Cool. So book now and then figure out when you're going down. And they also have an offer where you can save the equivalent of the tax on Florida packages. It's about $300 per family. And you need to book before July 30th, 2018. But you can also travel before February 28th, 2019. So two great options to get down to Toy Story Land for less via Air Canada Vacations. For more information on Toy Story Land, visit Disneyland.ca. And of course, to book your vacation, go to AirCanadaVacations.com. Can't believe you forgot your ears. I know. I can't did forget my ears. Oh, she'll today. be here with her headband next uh, yeah. time. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, she just... Uh, so I'm amazed you even came back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. I could have stayed at size, size of a toy forever. You really are a five-year-old at heart. <laughs> you really have. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks as always for having me. Well, she said, she's magical, mystical.